hello everyone welcome back to mass explorer in this video i'm going to solve and find the value of this beautiful math problem which is 7 raised to power 7 minus 777 777 so here we will try to solve this problem without using a calculator and without standard multiplication in the upper so how can we solve this math problem without using a calculator so first of all we will try to find out the value of this number 7 raised to the power 7 so what does it mean it means we have to multiply this by 7 7 times so i think it will be very difficult to multiply 7 7 times here without using a calculator so what we'll do here so here we will change this power to the simplified form to the sum of two other numbers whose simplification with 7 is simple so next we can write this number as 7 raised to power 7 but the power 7 can be written as 3 plus 4 minus this one number 777 7, 7, 777 now here in this one number 7 raised to power 3 plus 4 we will use an exponential identity so we will use this one identity here r s to power m plus n which can also be written as r s to power m times r s to power n no using this exponential identity here this term this number will become this will become 7 raised to power 3 times 7 raised to power 4 minus 777 here we will try to find out the value of 7 raised to power 3 and 7 raised to power 4 so first we will find out the value of 7 raised to power 3 so therefore we can write 7 raised to power 3 is the product of 7 3 times so what does it give him 7 times 7 is 49 and 49 times 7 is 7 times 9 is 63 so this is 3 6 will be carried 7 times 4 is 28 28 plus 6 is 34 so this will become 334 so the value of 3 to power 4 is 343 now we will try to find out the value of 7 to power 4 so we can write 7 to power 4 as 7 to power 4 can be written as 3 plus 1 no, using this exponential identity, we can write this as 7 raised to the power 3 times 7 raised to the power 1. Here we have the value of 7 raised to the power 3, that is 343 times 7 raised to the power 1 is simply 7. Now let's multiply these two numbers. So 7 times 3 is 21, so this is 1, 2 will be carried. 7 times 4 is 28, 28 plus 2 is 30, so 0, 3 will be carried. 7 times 3 is 21, 21 plus 3 is 24. So this is 2401. Now next we will replace these two numbers with its values. The value of 7 raised to power 3 is 343 and the value of 7 raised to power 4 is 2401. So this number will become, this will become is equal to the value of 7 raised to power 3 is 343 times the value of 7 raised to the power 4 is 2401 minus this one number 777. Seven, seven. Now we will try to multiply these two numbers without using a calculator and without rough work or standard multiplication. So how can you multiply these two numbers without using a calculator? So here we have our track. That is we will leave one number as the same and we will change another number to the sum of its place values of each digit so here we will leave this number as the same and we will change this number to the sum of the place value of eight digits in this number so therefore we can write this as 343 will be the same times and we can write this number as here the place value of 2 is 2000 plus now the place value of 4 is 400 plus now this is 0 so the 0 the place value of 0 is 0 plus no one the place value of 1 is simply 1 minus this one number 777 now here we multiply this number 343 with all of these numbers here inside the 
parenthesis. So first we will multiply it with 2000, then with 400, and then last with 1 and 0. So let's do this multiplication here. We we'll multiply this number first with 2000. So 343 times 2000 plus next with 400. So 3443 times 400 plus next with 0. Now as we know that multiplying any number with 0 gives him 0. This will become 0 plus next with 1. So this number time 1 is this number. So this will become 343 minus 777. So here we will place parenthesis. Now next we will try to simplify these numbers inside the parenthesis. So let's simplify these numbers. It's very simple. Here we have to multiply this number with 2000. So it is very simple. 343 times 0 is 0. 343 times 0 is 0. 343 times 0 is 0. And 343 times 2 is 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 times 3 is again 6. This gives him 6000. 686,000 plus you multiply these two numbers so again 343 times 0 is 0 343 times 0 is 0 343 times 4 is 4 times 3 is 12 so 2 1 will be carried 4 times 4 is 16 16 plus 1 is 17 so 7 1 will be carried 4 times 3 is 12 12 plus 1 is 13 so this is 137,200 plus no, next is 0 plus next is 340 3 minus this one number 777 seven, seven. what we will do here here we will try to add these four numbers and in last we will subtract 777 from that number so let us add these four numbers now to add this four number we will start from the ones position so let's add this number 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is simply 3 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4 no 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 0 is 5 so this is 5 comma we come to the thousand digit 7 plus 6 is 13 so 3 only we carry to this number 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 8 is 12 so 2 only we carry to this number 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 6 is 8 so the addition of these four numbers gives him 823,543 minus that number 777. Finally, we have to subtract this number from this one number. Now, to subtract these two numbers again, we will start from the ones position. So, let's start from the ones position. First, we have to subtract 7 from 3. So, 3 minus 7 is not possible because 3 is smaller. So what we will do here, we will give 110 from 4 to this 3. So this will become 13 and this will remain 3. No, 13 minus 7 is simply 6. This will give him 6. Now this is 3. 3 minus 7 is again not possible. So what we will we'll do here, again we will give 110 from 5 to this 3. So this will become 13 and this will remain 4. Now again 13 minus 7 is 6. Now, 4 minus 7 is again not possible. So, we will give 110 from 3 to this part. So, this will become 14 and this will remain 2. Now, 14 minus 7 is 7, comma. Now, there are 3 digits, 2, 2 and 8. So, this will become 2, 2, 8. So, finally, it gives him 822,766. So, finally, 822. 1766 is our final answer and value of this is beautiful and interesting math problem now in last if you like this videos so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos thanks for watching